Finding, renovating, and then renting old properties is always an adventure. These are my experiences. Uh, so I got the tile pulled up down here. Um, and I was gonna buy, I actually bought a special tile peeler. It's like 900 bucks but it was on back order. So I know they make bits for the rotor hammer. So I just got one of those on Amazon. Um, I think it's only five inches, but this thing worked amazing. Um, it, everything came right up and it was glued down tight. Um, and so I'm just gonna, that um, one that's on back order, the $900 one, I'm just gonna cancel that order. Um, but. Anyway, underneath it had the, what I wasn't expecting, it had the asbestos. There was no tile, so I'm gonna pull the tile up, but it's got the asbestos mastic uh, all over down here on like three quarters of the basement, or half maybe. So there's a product called Perfect Paint, Perfect Primer. It's the only one I know of that's approved for overlay on top of this stuff to encapsulate it. So I think tomorrow I'll get the pressure washer down here and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna pressure wash everything. Uh, even the ceiling, get all these webs and stuff out of here. Uh, try and get the walls and everything clean. And then at least then it'll be workable and just won't be so dusty and nasty. And uh, anyway, that's the plan for tomorrow get this thing pressure washed. I think it's gonna take take a long time. But anyway, peeling up that floor, I was kind of dreading it. it. Went really good. I bought this little stool and just rolled around with the rotor hammer and it went uh, really good. So anyway, that's it for today. All right, I'm gonna do a little quick before and after. Uh, so yesterday, today is August 19th. Um, yesterday, I came in with the grinder and a diamond um, wheel and hit these walls to get all the loose paint off. Even though I pressure washed really well, there's still a lot of loose paint. So I got the uh, went around with the grinder. I uh, got all these walls, and today I'm gonna get them painted with the uh, waterproofing paint. And then this floor, I washed this floor and we're gonna get a coat of primer on this to encapsulate the asbestos mastic as well. Um, but real quick, I'm gonna show you the, the grinder that I used. Okay, so I just used a little grinder, four inch, four and a half inch. Uh, whatever it is there. Um, I was gonna go with the seven inch, but the block is so inconsistent um, that it wouldn't have actually done as well as the smaller one to get, get around all the variations in the surface. Um, and then just use that guy. But this thing here is what really did it for me, kind of saved me. Um, it's a shroud, vacuum shroud that just goes on the grinder. Um, and then I use the HEPA vacuum uh, with the bags. And so the dust was virtually uh, eliminated with this, with this little shroud. So that was pretty amazing. Can't believe I haven't been using those for a long time. So anyway. So here is the finished product. Um, it's actually just a kind of a first coat just to get it get it sealed so the floor is not so sticky. Um, there's still a lot of work to do down here so I don't want to do a finished coat on it but um, same thing with the walls. Uh, eventually I'll paint the paint the ceiling um, and get all that done and, and then we'll give the walls and the floor the final coat. Uh, but today I'm gonna start working on these stairs the bottoms of all the posts are all rotted out